<laughs> yeah, I, I, the first thing I said to him in the locker room, I was like, you guys are crazy, man. Going, we're down 15, then we go up 15, and they come back, they cut it to two, and then we go back up, whatever, 14 or whatever. Um, as a coach, you don't like that. So um, it was our first back-to-back -back game, and uh, it, we, we were battle-tested. I mean, it, it's extremely difficult in our league to play uh, three games in four days, and that's exactly what we did. Um, we, we started off very slow. Third quarter was our obviously our best quarter. We we uh, played how we want to play and how we want to establish our tempo and, and what we want to do on the defensive end. And we got some wide open uh, looks and some easy layups and dunks because of it. So I'm just really happy we won the game going into a little break here. What what was the conversation was about three minutes ago when you called the timeout when they get back within two? Um, I, you know, instead of getting on them. And, and probably just raising my voice. I mean, they heard me in, uh, in halftime. Um, you know, I'll, sometimes that's just too much. So I said, we're fine, let's execute this play, let's get a stop. And it's exactly what we did. Um, you know, I'm not a coach that wants to raise his voice all the time and scream because guys just tune you out. So I just told him, hey, look, let's rebound, let's defend, let's execute this play, and then let's just continue to you know, play you, basketball. You don't have a lot of hiccups that have been going on here, but it, now's an opportunity to get to the practice floor again and then I, there are things that you want to work on there that uh, you can target? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, actually w with, the, with these next three days, I'm actually giving them off <laughs> um, to, to, to go home or, or spend some time with their families. It's extremely important. Um, even, even I remember when I played uh, college basketball that they haven't uh, you know, got to go home in Thanksgiving and Christmas, and that's a very special time. So giving those, giving the guys three days, and then we'll come back Thursday and practice, and then we play um, Yogi Ferrell on uh, Friday with the Long Island uh, Nets. So, um, you know, it's important that these guys rest a little bit, get their minds uh, ready for uh, next week. It's been three games now with George here, and now that he's right in front of you, I guess this is a little bit twofold a question. How have you seen him kind of fitting in, especially down the stretch there? It looks like he's really not had any sort of melding period with mm -hmm. this team. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's a transition for him. Um, it's extremely difficult to, uh, you know, be, be with, a, you know, our varsity club and then all of a sudden, um, you know, be assigned to us and then, you know, play significant minutes, game minutes. I mean, the, the NBA D-League is a very tough competitive league and, uh, you know, kudos to him for coming down and, and being a good teammate and being, and being a, a good professional, you know. You know, he struggled in the first game, uh, you know, getting his, getting his legs under him, his wind, you know, obviously. And then, you know, our last two games put together two re really good games. And, you know, more importantly, uh, we, we won two out of the three. So that's one thing that uh, we expect out of George. And, uh, you know, he, he, he was great. He was great for us this weekend. Steve, we talked last night about Trey's defense. And today you saw the offensive uh, mm -hmm. capabilities. It was a season high. Uh, what did you see from that? No, Trey, uh, you know, we kept telling them that they were switching a lot guard to guard and trying to turn the corner and, and just going one on one. In the first half, we didn't attack the basket at all. We were afraid of it. Um, we, we, were, we would go at the elbow and then we would kick. And uh, Trey started that off for us in the third quarter. And, you know, he, he got a monster dunk. I believe it was on like two people. Um, but, I mean, that's why we're a very good basketball team. I mean, I can't tell you the numbers, but every single night so far, I think we've had like six or seven guys that lead the team in scoring, you know, each night. So um, Trey was unbelievable, you know, uh, on the, always on the defensive end, but, you know, he showed that he can score the basketball tonight, too. George, we've seen yeah, players. Mike, can we move up? Mike, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Mike, Either that or you sound like this, that's not very good. Oh, yeah, no. Get my nice okay. voice. No, get out of here. <laughs> Are you applying for a job? No. <laughs> I got to lose guys. about, I gotta lose I about 25 say. to do that. We've seen guys come down and maybe not embrace being down here, but it seems like you wanted to take advantage of the opportunity to at least get out on the court and play some. Yeah, you know, I, I think the most unique thing about this is that, you know, I came down to a team that was, you know, real accepting of me and, you know, really helped me through it all. I mean, the way I played the, you know, the first night, you know, I, people could have just been, you know, just let him do his thing. But, you know, they really embraced me, told me, you know, to take my time and really play my game and, you know, just play how I played up there, when, whether if I was in practice. And, you know, I think this was a great time for me to learn uh, some new things with just getting out there and getting game reps and game speed reps. I think those are the two biggest things I wanted to focus on was just getting my wind and, you know, getting some game reps out there. And I, I couldn't be more happy with you know, being a part of a team uh, that just embraces each other and just 
plays hard. You know, I feel like the mentality when you come down to the D League is you have to prove this and prove that. But these guys are just all embracing me and, you know, helping me become better as I'm trying to do the same for them. George, you were able to score, you were able to pass, you were able to rebound. You get a chance to do a little bit of everything tonight. And how did that feel to get every aspect of the game working for you? Yeah, you know, guys uh, seem to make shots here. So they make my life a lot easier if I can uh, find them. Um, and like I was saying, you know, I just wanted to come down here and, you know, get some game reps and, and try to play my game. But uh, like I said, uh, just to have a great team uh, around me, I think it was uh, extremely important for me to get down here and then for us to win games. I, I think that people, you know, misconstrue that. You know, you don't want to put up numbers. You want to show that you're a competitor and a winner. And uh, it's unfortunate we dropped the last one. I mean, the first one, but I'm, I'm happy that we pulled out these last two. You put, you know, the, Steve mentioned the three and four days. That is a tough thing with this grind. Uh, what happened in the third quarter that you guys got rolling again and, and got the, the, the advantage you had? You know, I, well, since we were down here, or I was down here, I don't think we'd given up a 30-point quarter since we were, or even this season. And, uh, you know, Coach challenged us, you know, try to hold these guys to 20. And I think we exactly did that. And, you know, obviously we're going to score points because we just have guys that can just take anybody off the dribble and make plays. Um, so I think it was just him challenging us and really just – you know, as a player, when you get challenged, you know, you want to rise to the occasion and, and show that you can, you know, meet that challenge. And I think we did that. Fourth quarter, uh, maybe he should have challenged us again. <laughs> uh, but I'm just happy that we pulled out the win. You know, we have a great group of guys down here that really just battle night in and night out. I feel like if anybody's number's called, they come out there and make plays. Have they given either of you any indication as you are you staying or go back? Uh, he's, he's driving back right now, so. Yeah, so I guess well, I mean, at least I think he is. Yeah. <laughs>